We're here with Carla Mosley. Tell me, tell me what it means for you to be here tonight because I know this is a, an issue that's very near and dear to your heart. Yeah, absolutely. I've been working with uh, youth homelessness for five years, five or six years now, first with Covenant House and now with My Friend's Place. And um, I'm so proud of our theater company for taking this on. We're not only doing this event tonight, but we're doing weekly workshops with the youth and planning a larger event with the youth at the end of the year. So we have a year commitment, um, and it involves uh, both the philanthropy aspect as far as like raising funds but also giving them our manpower and woman power and um, and and you know just just raising awareness as much as we can I think when you live in a big city like I, we live here in LA it's so easy just to kind of walk by these people or you see them when you drive by what, what have you found by just getting to know some of them? What's kind of been the biggest surprising thing for you? You know, I think the biggest thing for me is we have this idea of what homelessness looks like, you know, and especially with homeless youth, it's like you're definitely living on the street and you have no support. And, you know, what's amazing is that I always say it's like there, but for the grace of God go I. You know, this could be me, this could be my sister. This, And, and it's like the they is really us. And if we start to look at people in the eye, if we start to notice instead of just driving by in our cars, then we see, yeah, these are, these are people just like us, and and so they deserve the same kind of like respect that all of us deserve. Just in your experience, why why is LGBT youth so is a big part of this? I know it's a lot of people, but they're also a big part. Why why do you think that is? Forty percent of homeless youth identify as LGBTQ, which is disproportionate, you know, in in relation to the rest of the pop, the general population. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with lack of acceptance. So you know, people, parents kicking them out because they don't understand um, and then even within the the homeless youth community it's hard for people to for a lot of homeless youth to go to shelters for instance because it's like the same problems that we have have in prison which are you put with the gender that you identify as and define yourself as or are you sometimes forced into other places do people refuse to call you by the name your chosen name you know so all of those things it it's a really nuanced um, some nuanced issues that you might not think about unless you're working in the community. As you know from your role on Bold and Beautiful, just people are now starting to understand the trans movement, what what people, what that means to be trans. Have you experienced that firsthand just by what you hear from the fans? Yeah, and I have to say, I mean, it makes me emotional. One of the reasons that I was so honored and moved and excited to play this role is because I had experience with homeless youth, and I know how important that awareness and acceptance is. And so I I hope that, you know, people are being able to open their hearts a little bit more. And I've heard stories. You know, there's a, one person in particular on Twitter who said, I've been estranged from my mother for 15 years. She watches the show, and now she's open, and we're, and we're starting to talk. You know, so amazing. So it's like, if that can start, if things like that can start happening, you know, people who at the beginning of the story said, I can't watch this, who are now rooting for Rick and Maya. You know, so it's like, if we can do it in this imaginary world, maybe, maybe, maybe we can start to do it in our real world too. So what, what can we expect moving forward? Because it seems like the story is definitely moving along at a quicker pace than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's it's exciting. So this week, obviously, Rick is going to ask Maya about moving back in. She is, you know, ready, but it's like, how ready is she? Is she, are, because they were talking about marriage, so I think the question on everyone's mind is: Are they going to get married quickly? Are they, you know? And I don't think Maya really knows either. Um, and then the other piece is um, is that she's getting more family. We're going to meet her parents. She hasn't seen them in like 15 years, you know. So this is all huge. And then of course Nicole and Maya and how their relationship progresses. So that's kind of what the summer holds. And it's it, I have to say it's really exciting and the people. People who play my parents, Opa Babatunde and Anna Maria Horsford, are just veteran actors, amazing, and they like totally bring it.